will he deny the fact that he did not collect one billion dollar from uh, Lagos? From uh, Lagos? Yes. Who in Lagos? I would not even deny. I will tell you who gave you the money. Lagos? Yeah, Lagos not Lagos, 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 I'm talking about Lagos, the money was given Lagos. to him in Lagos. Yes. For what purpose? He met one of the presidential aspirants and told him that he is not sure these governors may want to sponsor the party. Let I you say no. I would even call some of the businessmen. I had the money was arranged in Lagos. That money did not enter to the account of PDP. That was nothing I did. Manipulation of delegates' list, litigation support, there was nothing he didn't do. And unfortunately today, the numbers were not adding up. There's nothing they didn't do to make sure that we can do this. No, development alone is not the only problem Nigeria has. Insecurity alone. It's not the only problem Nigeria has. Part of our problem is non-inclusivity of people. Certain sectors believing that they have been uh, marginalized. Whether you like it or not, you must show that you have the capacity to bring everybody together. You are talking about constitution now. We well, forget that the constitution says that should be zoning of elective and party offices. You did not remember that constitution says so. Now, is that nothing called expediency? Is that nothing called necessity? Look, now look at where we are found ourselves. Whatever they may call it. Don't jump expediency. Look, we never knew we put ourselves into this. Not that you never knew, you knew. Ordinarily, I mean, you showed this chairman, this government, she would have been zoned. I mean, this uh, presidency ought to have zoned to the uh -huh. south. You do it. All you, you thought, what you've done is to show how clever or how smart you are. Now that the crisis is down, you are not falling back to their concern to say, look, they are the crisis. You cannot eat your cake and uh, have it. You can't. You know, now that you have given presidency to them, let us take our own uh, chairman. Because when they are meeting for decision making, the presidential candidate sits here, the national chairman sits here, the DG of uh, the sits here. They take decision. Then they tell the command, tell the people to execute. Now I hear they say, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Why did they put pressure on the board of trustees chairman to resign? And then now you cannot put pressure on national chairman to say, look, look. I said, as when I was trying to run as a governor, I had a lot of cries. But I have to let go certain things for us to be able to win an election. The problem is that we have not won an election, we are too arrogant. Anybody advising at people that is a wicked man to people. And I know those who are doing it. How so? No, let me tell you. I know those who are doing it. They don't have electoral value in their own units. Some of them are from Edo. Let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, let me tell you. Look at their calculation. I took the Dream I mean, Gwari Dream Wu River State. But Gwari won Lagos and Kando. That's right. Right? Does Atiku have Lagos now? Does he have Kando? The only one he has always had is Rivers. And he said he don't want them. You know him, my name was Since 1999, has PDP won Yobe State? Oh, you want So, what is the electoral value now? He will bring to the table. Tell me, since 1999 we started this democracy, PDP has never won Yobe State. And then you are going about. We will deal with him. We will sanction him. Meanwhile, we are zero, he has said, oh, you, you sanction the person that has given you 100%. Uh, it is you, that's what I mean, you wish. 
as a party that must show to Nigerians we have integrity, we are trustworthy, and we have promised Nigerians when we come, all these issues of modernization will be a thing of the past. You see, people take Nigerians for a granted. You see, that's not what people stand to do. Because Nigerians are not happy with APC. And therefore, we don't want to do the right thing because Nigerians are not happy with APC. You don't do that. You don't do that. Rather, since you believe that APC has not done well, since we believe the party of the government has not done well, then we, as people who want to take over, should show more seriousness to Nigerians. That is the point we are trying to make.